All right, BeFit Nation. Welcome back to our Motivational Monday, our BeFit Live programmed workout team. All right, get settled in because we have a high impact cardio based workout available for you today. All right, we are going through four movements for today. Nice, challenging cardio based movements to really kick off our Heart Health Month, which is the month of February. So we're looking to really focus on getting our heart rate elevated while uh, moving our active bodies, celebrating our active bodies for this month. All right, team. Um, this month, or and, and always, we have a uh, my special guest, my partner, uh, my workout partner, my BFIT ambassador, Senior Mass Sergeant Sonia Berry. How are you doing today, ma'am? Hi, good. Good morning, Roy. <laughs> good morning, BFIT Nation. Thanks for being with us. Thank you. So again, yes, uh, this is our BFIT Live platform to work out. This is where we get a chance to move our bodies uh, week after week. We're here with you every week, every step of the way, every rep of the way. So find your workout space. You do not need much equipment. If you have a pair of dumbbells or if you have a single dumbbell, go ahead and grab that. Um, also, if you have a mat, that might help uh, make one of our movements a little bit more comfortable. But go ahead and grab that and grab your water because again, this is um, a nice cardio based workout for us to really engage our heart rate, to engage our bodies uh, and push ourselves to a little bit more of a stamina uh, based workout. So if you're new to the channel, uh, welcome, join us, let us know, leave us, leave us a note in the comments below during our Facebook Live. Uh, we will be monitoring our uh, side of the, of the platform as well. So if you have any questions, any modifications, uh, anything for Sergeant Barry or myself, uh, go, ahead, go ahead and leave us a little hello, leave us a note, let us know where you're joining and watching us from. And also, this would be a great time to share this workout with any friends, with any family, uh, spouses, coworkers, uh, things like that, all right? Uh, it really helps to keep yourself accountable. I know Sergeant Barry and myself, we keep each other accountable during these workouts. So this is a great time for you all to go ahead and share this workout as well to help keep each other accountable. Um, the way it's gonna work for today, team, we have four different movements that we're gonna run through. Um, we, Sergeant Barry and I will go ahead and demonstrate each of the four movements. Uh, the timing for today is gonna be 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, four rounds with one minute rest in between each of those rounds. Again, 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, four rounds with one minute rest in between each of those rounds. We'll go ahead and demonstrate the movements before we get started. We'll go into some dynamic stretching to warm up our bodies, and then we will kick off with uh, the workout. Okay, we'll set our timers, then we're off to the races. But again, um, I have my laptop uh, available and looking uh, towards us as well, so uh, go ahead and Send us a note, leave us any questions or comments that you may have. All right, team, let's start off with demonstrations. Let's start off with the four movements that we have available for us today. Uh, movement number one, which Sergeant Barry is gonna go ahead and demonstrate as well, uh, is going to be a drop squat with a 20 second isometric hold, okay? So we're gonna go into our drop squat. <coughs> Sergeant Barry's gonna demonstrate right now. Uh, drop squat, which is basically pushing your hips back, dropping into your squat, standing right back up, and then coming back together and squatting again. So as you kind of feel out that tempo and kind of gauge yourself and really find that rhythm, you're looking at a nice low body squat, a little low of an impact with that drop squat, okay? That's that drop squat for 20 seconds, okay? We have 40 seconds in total, so out of that 20 seconds, that remaining of the 20 seconds, we're gonna drop into that isometric hold, okay? So Sergeant Barry's gonna drop into her low squat and we are gonna hold this position for 20 seconds, okay? Really forcing us to engage and isolate that lower body, our hamstrings, our glutes, our quads, and definitely calf stability as well as core stability, keeping our chest up and our head looking straight ahead as well. That's gonna be that low 20 second hold for the remaining of that work for that first set, okay? That's gonna be movement number one. Movement number two, we're looking into a T push-up, okay? So we're gonna get down onto the floor here. <clears throat> We're gonna find our high plank position, which is gonna be hands stacked underneath our shoulders and feet shoulder width apart, right? From here, our head is looking down into our fingertips. We're gonna drop into our push up here, down into our push up. From here, we're gonna extend up. We're gonna take one hand. It's gonna to rotate to the sky here at your center line, okay? From here, our gaze is looking at our fingertips, right back to starting position, down into our push up and then we're gonna alternate left arm and right arm. So as fast as you would like, or as slow as you would like. Um, a great regression, a great modification here will be to come off of our knees here, 
stay into our push-up position, but we're going to lead with our chest as we come down into our push-up. Nice engagement here, back up to starting, and then a nice rotation, T rotation right here to start us off, okay? That's going to be the modification version of movement number two, all right? We can also find that in-between balance with that modification as well, out of that push-up off of the knees, and then into a high plank. Push-up, and then into a high plank. All right, that's gonna be movement number two, team. Movement number three, we're gonna grab a pair of dumbbells, <clears throat> like Sergeant Barry's doing right now, and we have a jack press, okay? So we're gonna front, we're gonna rack these as if we were going to go into a shoulder press, and from here, we're gonna incorporate two different movements here, a jumping jack and an overhead press for movement number three, okay? Again, you're gonna feel this activation in the outside of your glutes, your glute meads, your outside of your thighs, and actually a full lower body work here. Again, a jumping jack into an overhead press, so engaging our shoulders, finding that comfort level within our shoulders as well. And another option here is to drop one dumbbell and if we only have one, this is a great modification here, <clears throat> into a single dumbbell, still with your jumping jack position with that overhead press, utilizing one dumbbell here, all right? That's gonna be movement number three, team. And movement number four to finish us out, uh, we did a high plank variation in movement number two. So movement number four, we are looking into, <clears throat> excuse me, a side, <clears throat> excuse me, as I, Clear my throat here. A side plank with a pulse, okay team? So we're gonna find that nice side plank position here. Our feet are gonna be stacked on top of each other. Our shoulder and our elbow is gonna be stacked underneath that as well. Come up with your hips. So you want that relatively straight line from your knees, I'm sorry, from your ankles all the way up to your neck. And then you want that aerial view as well to be in a straight line as well as that frontal view. From here, we're gonna focus on dropping our hips down, hovering the floor, and right back up to starting position, okay? Nice and slow, you're gonna feel that core engagement here, and you're gonna feel that really, uh, that activation in that lower oblique. So you're gonna feel that nice, strong activation there. So this is gonna be movement number four. You can raise your hand here, and that can help stack your full arm right above each other, okay? That gives you a lot more stability here as you drop down and raise back up. We have side planks, we're gonna accomplish, uh, we're gonna do 20 seconds on the left side and then we're gonna quickly switch over to 20 seconds on the right side for that movement, okay? That's gonna be movement number four. That's gonna be the four movements that we have for today. So again, find your space, find the water. Sergeant Barry and I are going to uh, find ourselves, collect ourselves, and then we will jump into our dynamic stretching. Again, if you have any questions or comments, um, leave them in the comment section below. Um, <laughs> I see Heather right here. Good. Thank you so much. Great to have you here. Chris as well. Uh, yes. We, uh, and again, any, any of these movements can be modified, right? We can take out a jump and we can go to an overhead press or we can take out the weights and just go into a jumping jack for movement number three. Uh, again, a lot of these movements can be modified to our fitness level. So again, we want to push ourselves, but also to our comfort level and to our fitness level of wherever we are at today. All right, team. Um, well, let's get started here. Let's get started with some dynamic stretching here. That way we can warm up our bodies and prepare ourselves to work. So each of these dynamic stretches we'll do for about 30 seconds here, and then we'll move on to the next and just a few dynamic stretches so that way we can get our bodies nice and warm and prepared to work. So <clears throat> let's start off with a dynamic quad stretch. We're gonna take our right leg, we're gonna extend it back. We're gonna take our left hand, we're gonna extend it up, pushing our hips forward, feeling that stretch in your right quad, finding our balance as well. Sit in this movement for a couple of seconds or as quickly or as uh, long as you may need. Go ahead and alternate the left leg and right leg, left arm and right arm kind of reaching up a little higher the second, third, fourth time, and pushing those hips forward, all right? Feeling that stretch in your hip flexors, your quad, good, good, good. Go ahead and alternate again. Sit in this movement as long as you need or as short as you need before you alternate left arm and right arm, all right? Good, all right, this is a great time to really kind of scan your body to see where you may be tight. We're gonna take a nice wide stance here. 
we're going to go ahead and shift our weight over to the left and to the right here. So really focusing on opening up our hips for these few dynamic stretches and getting some blood flow to that lower part of our body. All right, our legs, our glutes, our quads, our joints, really warming them up, getting them prepared to work, right? We always wanna warm up our bodies before we get ready to put in some work here. All right, last three seconds here, out in two, one, all right, team, let's come to the top of our workout space here. We're gonna take a reverse lunge with an overhead reach, a little two for one here. So find our space at the top. We're gonna take a right leg, extend it back, drop down into your reverse lunge, right arm goes up, right arm reaches over to your left. Feeling that stretch right along your lats here. Come back to starting or standing. All tight leg goes back, left knee goes down, left arm goes and reaches over to our right. This could be as quickly, again, or as slowly as you need. Again, finding our balance, engaging our core, warming up our core as well, can really help with balance as we drop it back into that reverse lunge. All right. And think about your breathing as well, right? Nice deep breaths in. Exhale as you reach over. There you go. Good, last three seconds here, two, one. All right, team. Uh, a few inchworms here to kind of warm up our core since we're going into high planks and we're going into side planks. We're gonna start at the back of our workout space here. We're gonna reach down, feeling that stretch in our hamstrings as we reach towards our toes from here. We're gonna slowly walk it out into a high plank position. Pause, and then we're gonna retract back to standing here, all right? Again, if we are at that fitness level, this would be a great time to incorporate a push-up at that plank position here. You can drop down. There we go. And extend back out. Two more here to round this out. Back in that high plank with the pause here. Good. Good, nice control here. Good job. Look how we rolled that one up there. So yeah. That's a good one. <laughs> and then right back to the last one here, into that high plank, warm us up. Good, all right, back to standing here as we retract back. And last but not least, we're looking at warming up a little bit of upper body here. We have some upper body work and shoulder work here. So let's just take some nice big circles here. All right, we're taking that right arm, nice big circles forward here. Breathing under control here as it comes back down. And let's take it to the back. Good. There we go. Three, and we switch in one. All right, team, left arm forward. All right, team, I hope you're ready for today's workout. Again, it's a cardio-based one, so take the break that you may need throughout the workouts, but challenge yourself and stick with us throughout this full workout. Again, it's really geared and programmed to get our heart rate elevated as we go in reverse here. Last three, two, one. All right, team, take the time here, stretch out anything else that you may need. Um, as you compose yourself, find that water, find that towel, find that mat and those dumbbells that you may need and we will get to work here in a second as we start our timer and find our way. Sorry, Barry, are we ready to go? I am so ready. <laughs> sometimes that warm up just is better than other times. Right, sometimes the warm up can be uh, just as exhilarating, just as uh, high intensity, just uh, it can really get your heart rate elevated and that's what it's for, right? That's what it's for is to really warm up our bodies and get our minds and our bodies ready to work here. So again, celebrating our active body with Heart Health Month. And with that, we're looking to engage our heart. All right, team. Uh, drop squat and 20 second ISO hold coming up in 10 seconds. All right, team. Eight seconds here. Again, drop squat with a ISO hold at the very end of the 40 seconds. Here we go. Two, one. All right. Here we go. 40 seconds on the clock. Find a rhythm, find a pace. 
again. Find that floor if we can. If we're not touching the floor, maybe we're touching at shin level, right? We're at, at shin level. Let's find that knee level. Let's go into that 20 second isometric hold here for the remaining time here as we've kind of engaged our lower body with some really plyometrics here. This is a great time to really push back into that low hold. Last three seconds, two, one, and time. All right, team, good job. 18 seconds here to recover. We are down on the floor here with a T push up with a twist. 10 seconds here as we find our recovery breath. We're looking at the push up with a twist. Sergeant Barry's gonna find the modification version right here in two, one. All right, team. Nice push up here with that rotation at the top. Our gaze, again, is gonna follow our fingertips. Good. There we are. Nice control push up position. Take your time with this one. Again, if we need to sit into that high plank a little longer, let's go ahead and do that. 15 seconds here, team. Again, our hands are right underneath our shoulders or right next to feet can be shoulder width apart and that can help you with stability, with balance. Last three, two, finish out our rep and time. Good job. All right, stand up nice and tall here. Grab a pair of dumbbells or the one dumbbell that you have. We have a jack to an overhead press. 10 seconds here. All right, five, up in three, two, one. I have a pair here. Sergeant Barry has a single dumbbell. Good. Again, we have that jumping jack, if you will in combination with an overhead press. Again, find our rhythm here. We're working for 40 seconds, so it can be a long time. 15 seconds here, team, stay with us. Last 12 out of 10. Stay with us. Out of five. Last three, two, one. All right, recover here, shake it off. Sergeant Barry was blazing through that one. Blazing through that one. <laughs> 12 seconds here, team. All right, we're down on the floor here with the side plank position. So we'll go ahead and come into our side plank position here. Again, our elbows stacked underneath our shoulder. 40 seconds on the clock. We're gonna raise those hips and we're gonna lower with a pulse on those hips. Good. Again, ideally, we'd like to keep a nice straight formation at the top and at that aerial view. So if you feel like you're making a V shape, go ahead and push those hips forward. 16 seconds here. We're gonna quickly rotate to the other side. <laughs> there we are. Good. Last five seconds. Out in three, two, one and time. Good job. All right. <laughs> one, one down. First round down. Ooh, ooh. I was trying to keep up with you, Sandra. <laughs> All right. First round down, right? First round we learn. First round we learn the movements. We learn what's involved. We learn where we're at physically today. So, again, this is a great time inside of your 60 seconds of a reset uh, recovery time, if you will. That this gives you a little bit of time to kind of focus on where we're at today again and focus on if there's any room for uh, progression, if there's any room to increase your weight, if you have that available to you. Let's go ahead and grab that right now. 18 seconds here, team, and then we're going to go down into our drop squat with that 20 second ISO hold. As we find our breath. Whew. All right, eight seconds here, team. All right, drop squat with a 20 second hold. We are up in three, two, one, all right team, here we go. I like to think with the uh, cardio-based movements, right? It, it, there's a lot that goes into it, but also think about having fun. Think about having fun with your movements as well. And don't forget to smile. It burns more calories. <laughs> 20 seconds here, so we're gonna go down into our squat, find our low squat position, and we're gonna hold. 
keeping that chest up, pushing those hips back, knees track over our toes here if we can. So push those hips back for the last three seconds, two, one, and time. Whew. That hold, I'm telling you, the hold is no joke here, team. Feel the burn. <laughs> Feel the burn, that's right. All right, T push ups here coming up. So we are on the floor, eight seconds till we get started. And again, uh, Sergeant Barry is doing the modification, the modified version here as an example. So lead with our chest coming down. You can see Sergeant Barry as she leads with her chest and rotates over. Again, the gaze follows our fingertips as well. Nice controlled movement here. And with your elbows, it's important to note, think about an arrow view at the top or the bottom of the pushup rather than a T formation, right? So you want those elbows tucked in just like Sergeant Barry is doing. There we go, 15 seconds. That's gonna take a lot of pressure off of your elbows and your shoulders. Last eight. Out in five, team. Three, two, one, and recover. All right, next round, Sergeant Barry's coaching me. <laughs> Good job, team. <laughs> I forgot what's next. So. <laughs> That's okay. We have a jumping jack press here. And again, if we don't have any dumbbells, make those nice strong fists. And it's just as effective, team. All right, grab a pair of bells here. We are up in two, one, and here we go, team. 40 seconds on the clock. I find myself jumping around all throughout our workout space here with this movement. <laughs> You're gonna find me in the front of the room in a second. <laughs> All right, team. Again, find our pace here. Get that full extension of our overhead press. Find that little rhythm. Out in 10 seconds, team. Last five, three, two, one, and recover here. Good job. It doesn't take job. much weight, does it, right? It does not take a lot of weight. And to think, if we had resistance bands here, we could actually place those resistance bands right above our knee to give us a little bit more resistance as we extend out into that jack. All right, team, we're on the floor real quick. After the hydration break, we are up in two, one, side plank here. Find that space, left elbows down for us, and we have that pulse. Okay, nice tight core. Seven more seconds, and we're gonna quickly flip over to the other side. In two, one, nice little rotation here. Right side plank. Again, hand can be elevated or on our hips. The elevated hand helps me keep my body in line here. That way I don't roll my shoulder forward. Last three, two, one, and time, good job. Good work. Hey. <laughs> good job, team. Again, second round in the books here. We're halfway through. Halfway. <laughs> halfway through here, so again, time to celebrate with a drink of water. Yes. Time to celebrate with wiping that sweat up off of our face here. Again, good job, good job so far, all right? Again, this is no easy workout here. Again, really pushing our heart rate to stay elevated with this cardio-based movement. So again, working on our cardiovascular system, working on building and burning a little bit more calories, right? A little bit more energy, but also really working on the stamina and, and working against fatigue with our targeted muscle groups that we're using. Drop squat with an ISO hold in five seconds. Get ready, team. All right, here we go, team. We're up in three, two, one. All right. Third round, we should be way more than warmed up here, so try and reach for the floor. Try and reach for the floor here. 10 more seconds. We're gonna go, in and go down into our hold here. Keeping our chest up as we reach for the floor as well. In two, one. All right, compose yourself here. Find that low squat position. Good, pushing those hips back. Our knees are under, right over our shoulders our toes here. Chest is up. Nice squat here. Out in five, three, two, hold strong. All right, stand right back up. <laughs> right? That's okay. Right? 
really helps with our, with our movements here. Down into our T push-up position. Five seconds, find that low plank position. We are up in three, two, one. All right, team. Good. Again, take your time with these. I think the more controlled you are with this movement, it really forces you to stabilize and think about each muscle group that we're working throughout this movement. 15 seconds here, team. Out in 10. Good job. Again, Sergeant Barry showing us a great modified version here. Five seconds. Out in three, two, one, and time. Recover here. Good job. Good job, good job. All right. Our favorites here. I think this is a fan favorite here. Grabbing one or two bells. We are up quickly in three, two, one. All right, team. Again, find a tempo that works for you. Sergeant Barry showing us a great modified version here. Good. We just have one dumbbell. We'll drop to one like Sergeant Barry's doing. We have two. Good. 15 and out, team. Stay with us. Nice deep breaths here as we exhale and push up. Out in three, two, one, and recover here. You beat me on that one, right? I, uh, I saved some in the tank early on. All right. Side plank with a pulse coming up. Side plank with a pulse coming up. All right. Here we go, team. We are up in three seconds. Find our left arm down. Feet together here. Hips are up. My arm is up for preference. Again, nice controlled pulsing. Nice activated core here and our obliques. Five more seconds here. We're going to switch over. Three, two, one. Switch over here. Nice quick rotation. Good. Again, push those hips forward if you feel that we are in a V formation. Last three seconds. Two, one, and time. Good job. Good job. BFIT Nation. Way to stay with us on that round. <laughs> All right, team. I'm coming here. I'm coming here. Any questions, any comments? Again, let myself or Sergeant Barry know. Um, and uh, we will be happy. Carla, thank you for sharing. Absolutely. Again, this really helps the community, helps our BFIT community, helps our team helps to keep each other accountable. So Carla, thanks for sharing this workout. Again, it's a cardio based workout. So we're looking at a little bit more plyometrics, a little bit more jumps, more squats, more high intensity to keep our heart rate elevated. Speaking of heart rate elevation, don't mind me. I'm about to take a drink of water here. 10 seconds here into that drop squat with an ISO hold. Mm. All right, team, five seconds here. Drop squat, iso hold in three, two, one. All right, here we go. Sergeant Barry, guess what round it is? It's the best round. <laughs> it's the That's last right. Round. <laughs> last round. Last round is the best round. So we're putting in the work for the last and final round here. Whatever we have left available, let's go into our low squat here. Let's go ahead and push ourselves, right? Have some fun, push ourselves, last and final round, making it our best round here. Just like Sergeant Barry said, last round, best round, five seconds here. Hold with us in three, two, one, recover. That's it. That's how we should be feeling, right? We should be feeling like we are fatigued, like our muscles, our body is really, we're pushing ourselves here. Think about how hard we push this round. That's gonna be a little bit easier next week. We continue to push. Push-ups with a rotation or without, wherever we're at here, team. 40 seconds on the clock. Let's work. Again, find our breathing pattern. 
nice strong push up. 25 seconds. Remember that gaze follows our fingertips. If we are pushing up from our from a modified version, like Sergeant Barry here, remember to lead with our chest. I'm gonna keep those hips up. Last 10, less than 10 seconds here. Out in three, two, one, and time. Recover, recover, recover. Good job. Not easy, not easy. Grab a pair of dumbbells or that single dumbbell that we've been working with, or no dumbbells. If we didn't have any dumbbells, perfectly fine. Five seconds here, jack to an overhead press. Get ready here, team. Here we go, two, one, let's go. Again, focus on our breathing a little bit more, find a nice comfortable pace, and try to stay with it throughout the working time here. Good, think about our shoulders. Be nice and activated with that overhead press. Doesn't take a lot of weight here, as you've known. Last 10 seconds here, team. Stay with us, stay with that weight. Last three, two, one, and recover here. Good job, Sergeant Barry. Woo. Good job, drop the, drop the weight, Sergeant Barry. Sergeant Barry wants to go for some more here. Side flank here. <laughs> so as we get ready for our last and final movement here, Five seconds here, left elbow is down, side plank here. Here we go, team. We'll raise those hips, okay? If we have it within us, let's go ahead and pulse. Or we can hold into that side plank, just like Sergeant Barry's doing. 10 more seconds, and we're gonna switch over to the opposite side. Find that nice, sweet spot. Pretend we're not here, keep pushing. Let's go ahead and switch. All right, 17 seconds here. We can finish it out, team. Hold that high side plank here, low side plank. 10 seconds. Find it. Last five. Out in three, two, one, and drop. Way to go. Way to go. You're fine, you're fine, you're fine. Take the time that we need here. Again, this is a great time. Finish the workout here. It's a great time to Compose ourselves, right? To really think about our bodies being worked today, right? Our heart being elevated with Heart Health Month. So take the time to cool off. Take the time to stretch out. I know we don't go through many stretching routines here after our B-Fit Live, but take the time as we wrap up, as we kind of compose ourselves as well. Take the time. If you have any tight areas, if you have any, um, just scan the body here. This is a great time to really stretch it out, to really focus on recovery here because recovery is just as important as the work that we put in here. Again, any of these movements, functional, functionally wise, they can be uh, transferred outside of the gym setting of our workout BeFit Live. So transferring these movements outside of our setting here, um, they, they apply, right? They apply to any day-to-day -day movements, anything that we may be going through uh, within our lifestyle, right? these movements transfer over. And, and this is how we build that strength, build that stamina, build that endurance, and build that resiliency that we need to push through our daily activities as they come to us. So <laughs> again, uh, Sergeant Barry, great work today. I mean, <clears throat> showing week after week of the, the amount of time and effort and strength and cardiovascular uh, in, you know, endurance that we put in and that you specifically have put in throughout this year alone. I mean, it's been so great. And I, I think seeing you grow as well as as myself, but seeing you grow has been such a, a joy to see. So, uh, how is this workout compared to, uh, say, compared to last workouts? Right, last workout was really uh, resistance based. So, today it was really cardio based, where it really pushed us to elevate our heart rate. Right. Yeah, my it's still elevated. I'm still I'm still catching my breath, but that's when you know you've you really you've worked out and you. Right. It's worth it when you feel you know the effect afterwards. So. Right, it's and good. I and I think uh, whether we're training for a test or, or whether we're just, you know, training for the, the, the active lifestyle that we're trying to lead, you know, healthy, active, uh, better for you lifestyle, right? This is 
this is, this is where we get to push ourselves and where we get to mentally uh, get stronger. It, it may not be physical strength, but you may be finding that mental fortitude that you need to push through week after week to where if it's, if it's tough for you today, next week, the following week, you can really break through those barriers and see where you push yourself you know, throughout our workouts, throughout your active lifestyle. So, Well, and I'll tell you, today was one of those days when I woke up and was like, I don't really feel like working out, but my workout partner, you <laughs> kept me accountable. And now here I am, and I'm so glad that I did. So. <laughs> and, that, and that's what it's about. Again, have fun, have fun with these workouts, right? They shouldn't feel like a chore. Uh, you know, hit these workouts, enjoy them, even though they may feel a little tough um, starting out, right? As they feel a little tough starting out, but... But uh, you know, switching that mindset over to really engaging your body, and as soon as you feel that body move, you see your, your, your blood flow uh, starts rising, your oxygen level starts rising, and, and really just pushing through, right? And, and, and something just kind of clicks, and it kicks in, and knowing that you, know, you can have a great workout, even when uh, times are tough or, or the start is tough. It's, it's about how we finish here, and so great job today, great work. Um, again, BFit Nation, good work today. Way to push through with Sergeant Barry and myself on this cardio-based workout, right? Celebrating our bodies, celebrating a way to stay active during uh, February, during Heart Health Month, and continuing on throughout uh, this year with our Exchange BeFit program. Again, if you're looking for any athletic apparel or sporting goods equipment or, or anything like that, fitness trackers, uh, visit shopmyexchange.com or visit your local installation at, uh, at the main store at, at, the, at the Exchange. Uh, we have. Anything that you may need to help keep yourself ready, to keep, help keep yourself in an active lifestyle, as well as uh, smart snacking options at our Express stores, if you're at our Express and finding that convenience, right? Look for those shelves, that healthier choices shelf tags at our Express stores. And if you're looking for food, think about nutrition, think about recovery, think about fuel, fueling yourself after these workouts. Visit our um, exchange restaurants, right, where we have more than 1,700 available to you. Surf the menus and and check out those healthier, better for you options, right? As well as our uh, wellness services that we have to offer in our mall area and surrounding areas on your installation. But uh, visit the exchange. We may have everything that you need from fitness to nutrition to wellness and any type of gear that you may need to help keep yourself active. So again, shopmyexchange.com forward slash be fit is where you can find a lot of additional information as well as any um, workouts that we may have during our BFit lives. Our full catalog is on Facebook under our BFit playlist as well as YouTube under that playlist as well at Shop My Exchange. So go ahead and visit all of those uh, sites that wealth of information that I just provided. But um, again, celebrating our active bodies with Heart Health Month. So um, Simon Berry, great work today. Great work. Thank you. You too. We never <laughs> give you credit. You talk, you work out. I don't know how you do it. No, it's, 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 it's fun and, and it's what it should be about, right? Pushing yourselves, uh, enjoying your workouts, but, but looking for that progress, right? Progress is, is, is definitely the enjoyment of a week after week. Stay, stay consistent, stay dedicated, stay motivated. And with our BFIT program, Sergeant Barry and myself, we're here with you every step of the way, every rep of the way. So with that team, BFIT Nation, have a great rest of your day. Have a great start to your week. Go out there and um, let's uh, let's start this week off nice and strong with the flex. <laughs> with a flex. Sorry to break hit us off. All right, <laughs> we will see you again uh, next Monday. Uh, we are wearing pink. Is that right? We're wearing pink. So. Uh, we, we're wearing pink. Uh, <laughs> Valentine's week heading into there. So uh, again, next Monday at 11 a.m. Central Standard Time on our Facebook Exchange platform. We will see you next week, team. All right. Have a great day. Signing off. <laughs>